Are you ready? Ready? Got it on? You got it on? Is it filming? Ready to go. Nice and bright. Teeth look pretty yellow? Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, folks. Uh, we're going to show you how to tie a knot, a simple knot. I'm going to be honest with you. This is the only connection knot that I use for literally everything. Everything. That means, so in the comment section, if you say, well, what knot do I need to use when I use mono? It's this one. What knot do I need to use when I use fluorocarbon? This one. What knot do I need to use when I'm using copolymer? This one. What knot do I need to use when I'm using braid? This one. What knot do I need to use when I'm using a jerk bait, a crank bait, a Texas rig? All of them. This is the only knot that I tie. And I already know what you guys are going to say. You're going to say, well, well, I heard that you can't use a Palomar knot with fluorocarbon. I heard you can't use a Palomar knot with braid because it'll slip. I've heard all those things too. All I'm telling you is through my experience in tournament fishing, uh, I ain't got all them problems. So I don't really break off. I don't have any issues. I don't, if I was having issues, I would learn another knot. Uh, there's a bunch of knots out there that you can learn how to tie. Some of them are probably better than what I'm about to show you. I like simplicity. I like it small. I like it. The best knot that you can tie is a knot you can tie, first of all. So if you try to tie a knot that you can't tie and then you go out and try to fish your weekend night tournament or whatever, you got a problem. It's got to be a knot that you absolutely 100% have confidence in tying and you can almost do it with your eyes closed in your sleep while you're comatose on the hospital bed like that. You got to be good at it. That's the best knot to tie. It's the old school Palomar knot. That's what I like to tie. The reason I like a Palomar knot is because number one is easy. It's like three steps. Number two is two strands of line going through your bait tie. So that makes it stronger. It works at all different types of line, despite what a lot of people will tell you. Uh, you know, what else I got to say? Like I got into fishing to be a fisherman. I ain't getting into fishing to be a knot tire. That's what I'm into this for. I want to catch bass. What do I need to tie? Palomar knot. So if you want to learn how to tie a bunch of other knots, you're going to be putting in the comment section, will San Diego Jam or where the, the twin loop-de-loop -loop fruit loop knot. That's fine, bro. Go for it. I'm just trying to show people how to get something done quick and easy so you can get out here and catch fish and have fun. That's what we all got into it. If you get off on tying knots, you got the wrong YouTube channel, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't going to be the channel for that. Here it is. Everything, literally every, so you don't have to ask me. Every technique, every lure, every line type, every situation, except for connecting braid to another line, is a Palomar knot. I tie two knots, Palomar and Alberto knot. I'm go fishing. All right, here we go. This is what we're gonna do right here. I'm gonna take a jerk bait, all right? I don't know why I just got a jerk bait. How we do the Palomar? All right, he's gonna pick up when we get close, okay, guys? Pick up. Let me know when you're ready to pick up. You picking up? Yep, try to keep your hands right in there. I'll try. So here we go. I'm holding my bait down so my, my little line tie hangs out low like that. First thing I do is I run the line tie through there one time. Bop! Then I take my tag in, run it back through the line tie again. That way that we have uh-oh, didn't make it. That way I got two strands of line going through the line tie. All right, give yourself plenty of slack because you're going to need some room to work with here. You know, give yourself, that looks like about six inches on both sides of the bait, right? So you see I got two, however you got to get two line, two pieces of line to go through the line tie. I did it that way. You don't have to do it. You can pinch the line and put two all in at once. But I just run it through twice. Two strands of line. This is what makes this not strong. This is so simple. Just make an overhand knot. You see, I got the loop in and I got the tag in with the main line on my left hand. Just gonna make a simple overhand knot. Just a old loop de loop that anybody can make. Loop de loop, right? Just like that. That's it. I only got one more step on this knot. Well, let's say two steps. My second or third step, wherever we are on this. I like to wet it right now. I like to wet it down 
and that loop-de-loop -loop that I made, I like to go ahead and cinch that down on my line tie. You see, now I got this open end right here, right? So I got my big circular or triangular end. I got this. I'm just going to put my bait through the big loop-de-loop, -loop, like that. Pull it through, bop, 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 all right? Then you got this. What I like to do is wet that line again. No, you don't need a spray bottle, just lick it. That was unnecessary, wasn't it? And then I'll just take my, what I do is I always bite my tag in. A lot of people pull their main line. I always pull my tag in. All right? There's something I want you to see once I get here. I always pull my tag in. You can let me know if you think that's wrong or not. That's what I do and it's working. So it can't be too wrong. What you're going to have is a little loop-de-loop -loop on top of this. And you want that loop-de-loop. -loop a little loop-de-loop, -loop, you want it to just kind of seat right down on the top of that overhand knot that you have. A lot of times when I get to the end, just wet it again just so you don't get line burn. That moisture, that moisture is just lubricating the line when you're wetting it. It's lubricating the line so when you cinch everything nice and tight that it doesn't, um, you know, it just it, it slides instead of digs in. It's really important with fluorocarbon too. I'll just cinch it on down. That's it. Now, this seems very mundane, but yeah, you gotta just come in here and clip your tag in. I like to leave, I like to leave more tag in than not tag in. Like I leave quite a bit of line on the end. And that's it, that's the polymer knot. I use it for everything, fluorocarbon, mono, braid. Um, I'll show you my braid floor, uh, braid palomar knot. I tie what's called a double palomar. Let me get, get out my braided line rod here. Same knot. I do the same knot, but there's just one little modification to it. I actually got it tied up right now. We fished the tournament yesterday here on Champlain, and I had this knot tied up to flip with. A lot of people use a snail knot to flip with. I don't use a snail knot. I'm not going to get into the argument with that because that always ends up being a train wreck, but Brian uses just a regular Palomar knot to uh, flip his braid with. People will tell you that Palomar not slips with braid. I don't know. I was drinking them out of that grass yesterday, wasn't I? Bop! It was a bite. Hey, I hit them. I hit them the way they come, Cam. In the boat, good buddy. Boom! Keeps them locked. Meat! With a Palomar knot. With a 50-pound test braid, even with my frogs. Same thing. Uh, let me find my scissors here. I'll show you exactly how I'll tie it. Sorry, I had a little bit of snot rocket there. Yikes! We'll, we'll, we'll take care of that in post. I can feel my... I, I'd rather blow a snot rocket than have a video where my... Where, where it's snot is running down my nose. All right, so here's my... Uh, let me get where you at. Let me hold a little lower because my arms are getting tired last time. Let's, let's hold a little lower. Okay. With the braid, I'm going to do the same thing, a Palomar knot, but I do what's called a double Palomar knot. So instead of having two strands of line going through the braid, through the line tie, now I'm going to have four strands of line. All right? It's the same concept. All that you're going to do is you're going to quadruple the amount of line that you have going through the line tie. Just make it, you got to break four pieces of line to get that knot to break. So with the double Palomar, I already got my two strands of line, right? Then I just take my, my bunny ear, my bunny ear in, I'll just pinch that line, just pinch the bunny ear to make it smaller. And then I'll run that back through the line tie one more time. I know this is hard to see, but I mean, I think you can follow instructions or just run it through again. I'll just pinch it. This can be a little hard depending on how big the line tie, the bait is, and how big your line is. You get like 65, it's really, really can be difficult. And then this braid has been used quite a bit the last couple of days. Sorry about that, Cam. I dropped everything. I need a little bit more slack. Here, I dropped all of it, so I got to start all over again. two pieces. I'll just pinch this and then run it through one more time. 
So now, I'll run it through one more time. You see now I got a loop. And when I sense that down, now I have four strands of line going through the line tie of that. And I also wet braid as well. Wetting the braid lubricates the line and lets that not slide down on the line tie better. Same thing, when I take these four strands of line, or you know, you're still dealing with two here, but you got four through the line tie. Simple overhand knot, right? Bop. When I get it pretty close, wet the braid too. That's gonna help it slide down. You're gonna see because with double Palomar, since, you're, since you have four strands of line, it doesn't, there's gonna be more friction. So it's harder to cinch down. Bring my line, bring my bait or my hook or whatever I'm tying to through that loop that I made and just cinch it right on down. With the braid, I don't mind pulling the main line. Just pull it right on down. Matter of fact, then I'll pull the other side too. I've seen some guys grab a pair of pliers, wrap your tag in around there, and then just really cinch it, cinch it down on the tag in. Just pull that, pull it really good. Cinch it good. Cut your uh, tag line. You know that's probably a little bit excessive, but I really don't care. I don't mind having a little bit of tag on there. Your plastic's going to cover that up anyway. Only time I don't like to leave a big tag is with fluorocarbon because it'll make your weight sink, it's, it sets funny. Your weight is set funny. And that's a pet peeve when I get that, that little hair like that. Now I'll put my bait back on there. You're ready to go fishing. But I promise you guys, if the Palomar knot didn't work, I would not be using it. But it, I have had no issues with it slipping. If, you're, if your Palomar knot is slipping, you ain't tying it. You're, so, you're, doing, you're doing something wrong, good buddy. But I promise you it'll work. Palomar knot, if you're new to fishing or if you fish for $100,000 tournaments, I fish for $100,000. I use a Palomar knot and it works just fine. Try it out. Make it quick and easy so you can get out there and fish. Cut!